Hey there dudes, welcome back once again to Let's Play Pokemon Volt White Nuzlocke. Super Spaz here, and let's get on to Route 3 like I said we would last time. I don't think I actually said we would last time, I'm just assuming. You know, I mean, it's the natural course of thing. Oh, in the meantime, I will show you my Pokemon. Hi, level Baja up to 13 and Talon up to 11. Yeah, it's funny, I remember getting up to 12. Oh no, I leveled Baja up two more than him. So he would be higher. That's my kind of rule that starters have to be a little bit higher than normal Pokemon or else, you know, I'm just gonna, they're, they're not normal Pokemon. They're better than that. Okay, fast forward still works. I was just making sure. Oh, x transceiver's ringing. Who could it be? I picked up the x transceiver. Spaz, it's your mom. How are things? Are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I need to talk to you. So I called, but I'm gonna hang up in the X-Tran Thiever now. And she was stalking me the whole time. Wow, what a twist. Spaz? I finally caught up with you, and look how far you've come already. Professor Juniper said that you were probably headed for Stratiat and City by now. I have another present for you, Spaz. Try these on. Do -do 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 -do. I got the running shoes. When you are wearing the running shoes, you can go anywhere in a flash. Let me read you the instructions. Hold the B button and run. That's it. That's what it says. I bought these a long time ago and stashed them somewhere. I found it when I was cleaning up the basement. Uh, with the coffins and the bodies. We're never speaking of that, remember? Guess it's good to clean up occasionally. You understand that you're never really alone, right? You're with Pokemon, you have friends, and you're always in my thoughts. Unless your Pokemon die. Then you're all alone. In a cold, dark, cruel world where you're gonna cry. That's all right then, enjoy your trip. And with that depressing segue, we move on. Uh, part two is in production as we speak. I just have some free time with my roommates, not here, so I'm just gonna record. Battles between Pokemon trainers are serious affairs you can't run from. Thank you for sharing, but we have a more pressing matter to get to, and that is the new Pokemon I'm gonna catch on this route. Here it is, guys, what could it be? A Weedle. All right, all right, that's, that's some variety. I have a bug type now. Weedle's a bit of a, uh, he's kind of a troll, he's a poison type. I'm gonna fast forward this watering gun, hopefully that won't one- Yes, perfect, perfect, thank you, but uh, not so perfect. Uh, can we, can we just get a Pokeball on him? Also, there's a guy who gives you a Pokeball in the village that I found, and I got an extra Pokeball. Uh, it's, he's just in the building up above the, where Genesis was. So hopefully this will catch him in one shot. And we're good to go, we caught a Weedle question is, what are we going to name him? Hmm. Each one of these and fends off attackers with a needle on the tip. Eh, I think I know what to name you. You're going to be Pinhead. Pinhead, you know? Hopefully you learn some good moves, Pinhead. Who you call him Pinhead? <laughs> That's basically my, uh, my reference for that. And I found a potion so I can heal up Oshawott if things get hairy. Hopefully they won't get hit. Oh, good thing I didn't get a purloin. Those things are weak. You know, what's funny is the plot in Black and White 2 is uh, your rival. Oh, and that's another thing about Nuzlocke's in Volt White and Blaze Black is that po poison doesn't damage your Pokemon outside of battle anymore. So, I mean, it's a little less challenging on that respect, but uh, everything else is still kind of... still kind of jacked. Alright, hope to see you again. I should probably train up Weedle, so while I do that, I guess I'll cut to there. Eh, switch him out to front. Eh, I mean, I guess we can go through and see some of the other Pokemon we could have caught on that route. I will warn you, though, that route is pretty hard. Like, I think my Pokemon died in training when I was doing that there, so I'm probably going to switch him out. So, how you guys been? Another Weedle. Uh, it's a level 6. Let's see what I know. It's poison to a Bug Bite. Poison Tail? Jeez, this guy's got some good moves. But I don't think these are going to be any good against him. Nah, not very effective. And it's still not very so I'm going to switch to Talon. Talon should do the trick. Wing attack will kill it in one hit, no doubt there. That's actually really cool how you rebalance the moves and blaze black and bolt white, though. So everyone's got kind of a different move set. It's a little more diverse and overall a more interesting experience. I'm probably going to get him to... Oh, a Caterpie would have been awesome, though. Uh, you're not poisoned, so Bug should still... Should be neutrally effective, right? Yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect. I wonder what uh, Pinhead's ability is. I didn't even check his nature. What am I doing, guys? What am I doing? I'm being a major bozo. I'm not checking these things for you guys. And you are... 
your timid nature, which is lowers attack, raises speed. That's not good, really, for a uh, shield dust, though. That's actually pretty cool. Blocks the added effects of attacks taken. So it doesn't take extra, like, so say it got hit by air slash, it wouldn't flinch. The only issue with that is that its nature's kind of bad. I'll take him, though. It's a Nuzlocke. You take what you get. Oh, unless you're playing with the special rule I haven't mentioned yet. But I'll mention it. Don't worry. This is probably not a good time to mention it since I don't have that many Pokemon. And the rule requires that I have a hearty amount. A hefty amount. A copious amount. Uh, an extraordinary amount. Alright, I'm, I'm just going off on a tangent here. Weedly deedly dee. You probably don't want to watch too much grinding, so I, I should have cut this part. I should have cut this part so hard. Drop it like it's hot. Definitely want to drop this part like it's hot. I do not want that Spearow killing Pinhead right away. Even if it knows Pursuit, it won't be very effective, so we should be fine. And let's just water gun it. So, yeah, this is a Let's Play, and I'm doing it right now for you. I've got a lot of free time now that my chem midterm's over. Boy, let me tell you, that was a doozy of a midterm. I should probably add some music to this or something. Oh, okay, you're Wur Wurmple's poison type, though, too. Oh, we could add Squirmy Part 2, guys. We could have had Squirmy again. He would have made a nice addition to the team. He I miss him. I miss my old Nuzlocke. It was good. I wish I had a better mic. I wish I had this mic. I wish I had the knowledge I do now. What'd I tell you? Pursuit happened, and I just shrugged it off like a beziste. Yeah, I don't even care. I don't even care, you know? You can throw all the hits you want at me. Shrugged it off like a boss. Not even gonna... Not even gonna... Oh, yes. Here we go. Pin Edgar to level 9. Survived a pursuit. And that means he's evolving. What? Pinhead's evolving? What is this? Uh... Okay. Alright. Apparently, evolution has gone digital now. I wasn't aware that Digimon had such an influence on Pokemon, but I guess this is proof of that. And there we go. A Kakuna. Congratulations, Pinhead. You are now moving up in the world, and hopefully I can get you to move up further. But for now, I think I'm gonna continue the story. Since grinding you up one level took that long, oy, I don't even want to think about how long it's gonna take you to grind up another. I should probably focus on getting through this route. So, I'm gonna bring Starly out front. I'm still getting used to their names, Talon. So we got Baja, Talon, and... Pinhead. That's the name. Don't wear it out. Don't wear Pinhead's name out. He'll, he'll whack you. No, no, no. See, this is what I'm talking about. The emulator controls are ridiculous. I need to set them up so they're more like the Game Boy. Alright, good, good, good go. Now we run. Now we go. Get places where we want to be. I forgot to start my timer, son of a gun. I know pretty much where I'm going to go to today anyway. And if not, I need I can cut out some of that training montage. Oh, perfect. Starly, yeah. Uh, that would have been great if you had told me you would have been a purloin. So I could have sent... Okay, I'm going to growl. Let's just quick attack and get out of here. Bug is super effective against Dark, so I could have used um, Pinhead against him. And here's our first ever actual real trainer. Trainer catches a trainer's eye. That's the start of a Pokemon battle, man. Whoa, Fish Islands. And here's Youngster Jimmy. Probably a reference to Youngster Joey, except Youngster Joey is totally in this game. If you don't believe me, I will show you in a later part where Youngster Joey is totally in this game. Wing attack. Let's wing it, guys. That was a terrible pun. Oh, puns. The lowest form of humor. It's like... Uh, keep battling with that. With the Talon. Talon's gonna be real useful in the next gym, considering that... Uh, it is a gym where they choose their type based on the starter you had. So, my type is gonna be Grass, and since he's flying... I'm gonna keep battling again. This is gonna be a really easy fight, hopefully. And wing attack him to death. And it was over before it even started. I grinded a lot last part, and hopefully I can just do grinding in between parts to make this more of a bear bubble experience. It's not very bearable so far, I just wanted to talk to this guy. Hey you, I'm gonna watch through something amazing, wanna watch? No. Okay. Whee! And now you're down there, suck. <laughs> I'm higher than you, and that's where I wanna be. That's where I- do you fight me? Juggling adventure fire. Just walk on the road. Pokemon only appear in the tall grass. Well, what about trainers there, smartass? Uh-oh. Another trainer. 
I really love Pokemon battles because my cute Pokemon will do its best in a really cute way. <laughs> that was sad. Zigzagoon. That's also sad. Zigzagoon's not really much of a challenge, unless he KOs Talon right here, in which case, well, you win, Zigzagoon, you win. Pidgey. Uh, I'm actually gonna switch. I think it's time Baja got some experience. I mean, even though he's not gonna be very useful against this next gym, I still want him to be useful in general. Alright, Pidgey's dead. Meowth. Yeah, let's keep going. Baja's on a roll. He's Baja blasting it. I should teach him Water Blast. Water Smash. Thunder Smash. Joke stolen from Ego Raptor. If you don't know what that joke is from, I suggest you go watch Poke Awesome. It is hilarious, and I love it. I love Ego Raptor. I watch Game Grumps too, because <laughs> a few days ago I was like, I was on the Let's Play subreddit, and I was looking around, and everyone's like, oh, Game Grumps is so great, or Game Grumps is so terrible. And I was like, who are these Game Grumps guys? I've never heard of them before. And then, wouldn't you know it, I go and I look them up, and I find out that Ego Raptor and JonTron play video games for fun, purely for fun, and it's really funny. I didn't even know the Game Grumps were Ego Raptor and JonTron. Mind blown, right? I have not had enough internet for the day. That is the moral of the story. You can never have enough internet. Now, a wing attack this lily pup, and it will. Oh, Jesus. The critical hits on these lily pups are ridiculous. That's what got me down to such low health last time with Talon, which I didn't show you, because I think I mentioned I screamed into the mic. There's never a good thing to do, but Cricketot will fall easily to wing, wing smash attack. Eh, see? Not even a problem. Not even a problem, mate. That's a terrible Australian accent. Oh, double team. Faux show sure, yeah, get rid of growl. I'm unhittable. Pokemon. I can't stay on key. Uh, should we send out Pinhead? It's probably a bad idea, but I'll do it anyway. Alright, Pinhead. Who you calling Pinhead? Let's use Poison Tail, see what happens. Let's see if I can poison him. And low and Oh, I have super high defense, huh? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Haha. <laughs> now my plan will be complete. You will die. Rebel scum, bidoof scum. Aside from all the Star Wars references, that wasn't as a weedle. I should probably switch to Talon and end this right here before it's even started. Before it's even started. What am I saying? I'm just talking and it's fine. It's okay. And Youngster Roland is down, and I got a measly amount of money. Can I please go now? And I believe this means that- oh. Oh, that's a tree I can't cut down. And that's another dream shattered. But, I get a couple things up here. One is an Everstone. Yay, that's a billion times less useful than useful. And an Oval Stone, which I think evolves Chansey. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run even faster, but oh. Oh, hi, Spaz! I haven't seen you in so long. It's like you spent a whole route. Hey, listen, let's have a Pokemon battle. Please, the Pokemon I caught have become a little stronger. Run, you not. Here I come. Do tell, Bianca. Do tell. And I wonder what you have in store for me today. And I bet it's a Purloin. No, it's a Meowth. Eh, I mean, still not great. Unfortunately, Talon's hurting, so I'm gonna sw uh, send in Baja to take care of this battle. It shouldn't be a problem, though. <laughs> See, I would have flinched anyway. Perfect. Bianca, you fell right into my trap. Or you could lower my attack, which won't make a difference because I'm using Water Gun, you dummy. Big old dummy dumb. That's what you are, Bianca. That's why I chose Jar Jar Binks as your voice. Do you realize that? Do you realize that's why you're such a loser? Water Gun. You don't stand a chance, Bianca. You're out of your league, kid. And bye, I grew to level 14. Which means nothing at all. I don't get anything except more money than I would have gotten before. Woohoo! You such tough cookie, Spaz. I said gonna work so hard on my training Pokemon, so we won't lose anymore. Okay, bye bye. No, I'm losing the Jar Jar Binks voice. It's a pretty orchid, there we go. That's probably a good thing though that I lose it. <laughs> Alright, so trainer school. Apparently that's he is not here. He could be in the trainer's school. If you gotta go challenge him, please go find him. The trainer's school is not far from this gym, hey? Yeah, I think that's the second time I've used Sylvester Stallone's voice. 
because she's also Sylvester Stallone. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your entire Pokemon to four else. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Hey, all right, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. We'll hope to see you again. Thanks, um, I'll just pass on that. You can catch your Pokemon, we have more Pokemon, you're less likely to lose in battles. And it's more fun to look at your Pokedex PC box. Shut up! Shut up! No, I don't, eh, I don't watch Mosh. <laughs> don't even go there. I've just learned that some more badges shut up. Oh wait, the more gym badges you have. Really? The more gym badges you have, the more items you can buy in a shop. This is news to me. It's actually not, because I played Black and White 2, and that's when I discovered it. I didn't actually know that was the case in this game, though. That's a miracle. Uh, I should probably cut to the chase here and go get items later. You just basically, my rule of thumb is to check every house. Come now. My rule of thumb is to check every single house in every city, talk to every single person, and that way you're most likely to um, get items. But we are going to go to the Dream Yard. Which is a new area, as you might may or may not have known. I may or may not have known that. But I'm gonna try and evolve Pinhead here. See? Okay. Slowly. There we go. Just ease into it. And hopefully you'll battle me and have a Pokemon I can use Pinhead on. And maybe not. Mm, but you got a nice figure. <laughs> oh. Oh. Level 10. That's pretty high. I'm actually not gonna lie. Uh, bug poison tail, maybe? I'm faster than it, so that's- oh, that's because I'm timid, huh? Uh, poison tail again? Maybe we'll get lucky? No, defense curl. Uh, poison's my only hope now. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. Oh, you're- you- you- you have nothing on me, Centaurette. I'll just keep poison tail until the day is done. And it didn't poison you. Well, you know what? Poison Sting. How about that? Spicing it up a little bit. And hopefully that... Uh, yeah. Let's be honest. You are not gonna survive a hit from Starly. Let's just take that out of the equation. Water gun, though. That'll do the tricky trick. Oh, these battles. So many. So little time. I don't even know what time I'm at because of... And now let's switch back because you're Pinhead and you have a good defense. Luckily, they all they use is attacks. And hopefully I can actually poison you this time. Yes? No. Oh. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe we want to switch to Ba again. That Skitty was actually had a pretty good hit there. And of course you wasted your time with Foresight. Good plan, Skitty, good plan. I will admit the AI in this game is much more intelligent than the AI in any other game. It was designed that way, of course. Azure, switch Pokemon and let's get this over with with Town. Oh, Azure's normal, huh? Never mind, I could have used Baha. Oh well. Time to get Town some experience for the gym, though. And we're gonna about we're about to get another Pokemon that's gonna help us out with the gym in a second or two. Hopefully that will go well and I won't lose it to Ah, Pinhead is evolving. Hey, what do you mean I'm a bow? What is this? What's all this business? Whoa, I'm getting all digitized. Hey, forget about it. I'm a part of the mob like John Travolta. And Sylvester Stallone. You sound like a combination of the two, you know? Because I'm such a cool bit drill. Check it. Now I'm not a pinhead, I'm a needle arm. And I believe it learns Fury Attack. Yes. Let's forget a move. Like String Shot. Which is actually kind of useful. Bug type. Poison Sting. Uh, poison Tail. Yeah, I actually like... I like it over Poison Sting. Ta-da! Pinhead forgot to use Poison Sting, and he learned Fury Attack. Po cross Poison? Oh my god, yes! Get rid of String Shots and use that. Cross Poison, are you serious? Rage, not so much. Cross Poison. You've got to be kidding me. That is a great attack for it to learn at such a low level. Thank you. Thank you, Volt White. Oh, that is such a blessing. And I think we're going to end the part with me getting the new Pokemon. But first, I have to heal, of course. Because the damage I take in these games is ridiculous, you know? I, just, I do so much hard work, and then I do I don't know what's with me in the Italian accents lately. It just seems easy. It's too easy. There she is right there, over to the right. That's who gives me the Pokemon. My Rattata is in the top percentage of, of Rattata. I've pronounced them both this different way. Oh, it's Youngster Joey. <laughs> My Rattata is in the top percentage of Rattata. No, really. 
Here it is, guys. The Youngster Joey battle, which was actually placed into the, uh... Was it placed in? I have no idea. I don't think that... This can't be in the game. He has a rat to... He edited the text. Go Pinhead. And let's see if I can take down this top percentage rat. Look, his wings flap! That's actually really cool. Let's use Cross Poison to take him down. And take him down fast. Flip! Wow! Wow! You're ratted to really... T I... What the... F wow! Wow! You... You actually did that! I can't believe... I can't believe I didn't know it in Flame Wheel. Young... I... Wow. You... I... Oh, okay! Oh, okay! 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 Oh. Okay. Oh, what you, you, you do realize, Youngster Joey, that you just made me, like, in the future, I'm going to have to edit in Bedrill into my party. I'm going to have to actually edit Weedle, then Kakuna, then Bedrill, and then I'm going to have to send him to the grave. You do realize what you've just done to me, Youngster Joey, right? You do realize that. I didn't know it new Flame Wheel. See, this is Volt White, right here. This is the summary of it. But, talent evolved in Staravia, so now this gym is going to be super easy. And heck, let's just pick up our Pokemon now. Hey, hey you! What's the first Pokemon you received? Oshawott? Really? Then Pansy should be a big help! Yo, Oshawott does not do well against Grass-type Pokemon, let me tell you right now. So you want this Pansy or mine? Yes, I do. Okay, here you go. I can use a Fire-type moves, so that makes it hot against Grass-types. Spaz received the Pansy, which evolves into a really... It's actually funny because it's a Fire-type Pokemon. <laughs> and it's, um... I'm gonna name him... I don't name him Flame or Flame Flambo? Flame Flamboyant? It's like Fla Flambo. Double reference to f how flaming it looks in its second evolution. Flambo and a reference to the demon from Adventure Time. What's with me and not being able to find keys? That's terrible. I just realized that my Pokemon's dead. It just hit me. Like a brick. Just bam. Pinhead's gone. He got whacked by the Rattata Mob. Rattata Mob. Tata Mob. Screw you, Youngster Joey. I'm not giving you my phone number. Get out of here. I'm going home and crying. But, in the meantime, I gotta go drop Pinhead off of the grave. And I gotta make Hell a box. I'm sorry, not Hell. He, but he deserves to go to heaven. You deserve to go to heaven. You. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know a new flame wheel. And if I did, eh, I wouldn't have sent you out there. I just wanted to test you out. And I gotta switch your wallpaper to Hell. Actually, no, no, that's mean. You gotta, you're going to heaven. You silly bug, you. Uh, and I gotta change the name to heaven, too. Is that how you spell heaven? <laughs> Remember that part? I don't. That Nuzlocke was pretty unmemorable. Ev N. Yeah. I probably spelled it wrong. But now Beedrill is in the tall grass in the sky, like I named my void. I should have probably named it that. Let's rest my Pokemon. Get out of this godforsaken dump. Which means now I'm not going. Well, that actually wouldn't have helped anyway. Oh, yes, it would have. Beedrill would have been a huge help for the next gym. Oh. Well, it's not a bad nature. Hasty's actually a really good nature for it, let's be honest. Because it's a mixed attacker. Sweet. Hasty nature. Oh, what's its ability, though? Is it is it anything but that very one? Dang it, it's gluttony. Oh well, still a good nature, still a good Pokemon, and next time I'll have grounded up so we can fight the next gym. So until then, I say later dudes, and I'm gonna go mourn Pinhead. I'm sorry, Pinhead, I didn't know, I had no idea. Honestly, how could I see this, this is the thing, I'm not gonna see any of this stuff coming. Alright, enough stalling, later dudes.